Let's talk some chess. We have a super short one from a legend of the game, Alexander Alyehin. This was played in 1931 against someone named Vasic, and Alyehin opens up with e4. We have e6, uh, d4, uh, d5, so very normal opening, just sort of pushing pawns in the center. Uh, knight to c3, so adding some protection to this e4 pawn. Uh, we have bishop to b4, pinning the knight now to the king and getting the, the, the bishop very nicely advanced. Um, bishop to d3 now, so now that they're, you know, the knight is pinned, there's no actual support of this e4 pawn, so bishop to d3 protects the pawn. Um, we have bishop takes, pawn takes on c3, um, and now uh, uh, h6 by uh, black, preventing the bishop from coming to uh, g5 with a tempo on the queen. Uh, instead, we have this very nice bishop to a three move, so the bishop now controls a wonderful diagonal, uh, preventing the enemy king from castling if it comes to that, but also just adding some pressure to uh, the king here. We have knight to uh, d7 by black, and now a very nice queen to e3 move, lining up the queen um, with the enemy king and uh, just getting the, getting the queen off the back rank. Um, and here we have, uh, finally, d takes on e4 by black, and we have bishop takes uh, back on e4. So Alkine, um now has these two bishops operational. The queen is lined up with the king, and a uh, pretty good start uh, for uh, playing with white pieces. Uh, we have knight to uh, knight uh, g to f6. Bishop retreats to d4, so the knight came with an attack on the bishop, but you don't want to give up this very strong light squared bishop, so Alyekin just retreats it to d3, um, and now we have uh, b6 by black, preparing to fianchetto his own light squared bishop and control this diagonal. Um, but after this b6 move, uh, so this this is a better position for white, you know, the, the two bishops are, are much stronger than the two knights that are developed. Um, white has the bishop pair and, and a, sort of a better presence with the pawns in the center. Um, but this position is okay uh, for black. But after this b6 move, the game is actually completely over. Um, you can resign, although there's not really even going to be time to resign. Um, so see if you can find the winning move here for Alyekin while I give you a moment. Okay, so it's just about the most aggressive move you can make in this position, um, but as soon as you see it, it's it's a beautiful ending. It is queen takes on e6, check, and uh, that is all she wrote. Uh, you know, the queen is checking the king, of course, but don't forget about this long-range bishop on a3, slicing this way and preventing the king from escaping to f8. So if you ignore the queen sacrifice and try to block with your own queen on e7, you get queen takes queen on e7, and this, of course, is checkmate. So you have no choice but to accept the queen sacrifice on uh, e6. Um, but of course, after, after that, you get the wonderful bishop to g6, and this is checkmate. Um, and just a wonderful, I mean, the two bishops are just slicing across and, and taking all the king's squares. The knight and the queen, uh, which seem like good defensive pieces, are blocking any escape route the king may have. And this is just a wonderful uh, uh, finishing position. Um, and, you know, I think when uh, black played this b6 move, certainly wasn't expecting that. But against a player of al Yahin's status, you have to be really careful about allowing queen sacrifices that lead to early checkmates. So um, a fun, uh, just a fun game. Nothing too deep, just uh, something fun to look at. But thanks for watching. Drop a like, drop a subscribe, and we'll see you next time.